Okay, so just to start off, can you say like your name and age, and then say I'm an artist? Like, so I would just 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 like to start it off. So you could say I'm Destiny Holmes. I'm how old you are, and I'm an artist. Okay. I'm Destiny Holmes. I'm 16, and I'm an artist. He's a little good. Can you do that one more time? <laughs> you are taking your hands down. Thank you. You. I'm Destiny Holmes. I'm 16, and I'm an artist. Okay. So, when did you start making art? I started making art when I was around like eighth grade, middle school. And what was the reason behind that? I was really into anime. So is that you just started off doing just anime and like comics stuff? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. So can you like when I ask you a question, can you just like restate the question a little bit? So like what was the reason you started making art? I started making art because of anime. Um, do you do you wanna continue art in the future? I would like to continue art in the future, but not as a career, maybe something on the side. And why would you like to keep just creating? I would like to keep creating art because it helps me just express how I feel, because I'm not good at talking. What statement do you want people to take away from your art? I want them to take away like the ability to like how well you can express yourself through something and other forms of communications. Like I don't just have to talk about how I feel. You can look at something and you can feel it. What do you see your art? What kind of feelings does your art usually indicate? They usually indicate like the deepest feeling someone can possibly feel, like the like in the darkest places of your mind. What's the deepest feeling someone can possibly feel? The deepest feeling you can feel is probably depression. Was that, was, so your art is about like, depression? Or would you just say it's like expressing like how you feel in like a dark place? It's about expressing how I do feel when I'm in a dark place or dark times. Has making art helped you get out of a dark place? Yes, art has helped me get out of a dark place, but sometimes I just stay in it. How's art helped you grow as a person? Art has helped me grow as a person because like now I can look at other artists and their work and we can like talk about it and like it opens up like a whole new world of being able to communicate and express. How has the how has your art affected people around you? I have no idea. <laughs> you just hope it makes them like feel something? I hope it makes them understand that you can express yourself really in any form of art and do anything you want to do. What are some of the reasons behind your pieces? Some of the reasons like behind my pieces are like something really important like the loss of a loved one or you don't want to forget somebody and like some of the themes in my paintings are like being bullied. Was that related to personal um, events from bullying? Some of the pieces, yeah, relate to personal events. And do you think that kind of helped you overcome the bullying or the sadness? Overall, yeah, it has helped me overcome all the negative things in life. John, do you have any questions? I was thinking. So, your theme is the, a moment in time, correct? Can you tell us more about why you chose that theme and get into more detail about it? Yeah, I chose my theme as a moment suspended in time because each little thing is like 
very important in someone's life, whether it be someone passing away, someone being bullied, not having anyone to talk to, and just not understanding everything, and you need support. So like those little moments are always going to be in the back of your mind. And you're submitting all of your moment in time work to the the LVC. Is it John Archo? Wait, no. isn't that what? I believe. It's... I don't know. That's what Mister Trump told us. But... Yeah. No, no, my pieces are going into the art show. Oh okay. Would you like to uh, submit pieces to a show like in the future, or does that not really cross your mind? It doesn't really cross my mind, but if like someone wants sit in a show, I mean, yeah, go ahead. Can't say no. <laughs> so you really make your art to, just for yourself as a person, not necessarily for the other people or how other people think, right? Yeah, pretty much. I like when people look at it and they're like, oh, I like the meaning behind this piece and it can be interpreted in so many different ways and like that just makes you feel better about yourself. there's anything we didn't cover. Can you uh, show us some of your pieces and talk about them a ton of bit? Some, like yeah. these? Yeah. Like hold the piece up and then tell us some things. Is that fine? Yeah. Yeah, can you hold it a little bit to the side of you so you can still see your face? Okay. Like that, thanks. Okay. You good? Okay, this piece is unfinished, but it's one of my favorites because I took a form of art which was anime and I kind of slowly put in like my own style into it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, these two pieces. Can you move? Uh, hey, you're, no, she, she's fine. Oh, okay. You're good. This piece I just made up just one day, just sitting in the middle of a classroom, and I just got bored and I just drew it. This one is based off of a character that I thought was cool, and then I put my own style into it once again. These two pieces are more abstract, not really any purpose to them, but that's a mandala. I don't even know what that's called. <laughs> These two pieces are self-portraits. Um, this is a sketch of a self-portrait, and then that's the final product of the self-portrait. These pieces are digital art. This is in my display case as just black and white, and then I went online and I edited it. And then these are just pieces that I drew off of shows. These are like character profiles, like their body types, the sides of their faces, and the fronts of their faces. And these are just random doodles. page fell apart. Random doodles misplaced. This is like one of my first drawings that I took seriously. It's just a picture of me and then all my little friends as little characters. What was the inspiration behind that drawing? The inspiration behind this drawing was just, it was I saw my friends drawing and I just wanted to draw. I thought it was cool. <laughs> so you got into it because of your friend? Yeah, because everybody watched anime in middle school. And anime was so cool and it's like, oh, I want to draw like that and do all those things. Do you think your style will ever change from the anime or will evolve into anything different? I'm sure it'll become more realistic and more like people rather than just cartoons. Have you worked in any of that stuff? I mean, you showed us some of your self-portraits, but have you worked on any like more like realistic pieces? I have 
done some more realistic pieces in the portfolio class of observational drawings. But other than that, I never really branched out more. Once again, just things from games and some random dragon. This is a, a 10 minute sketch I did, going through like my iPod and like album covers would come up and I drew the albums. And that's from a book. Um, we just have, that's I think, real with art, thanks for that. Uh, I just have like three more questions. Um, and then, good. sorry, so it's been a little long, but we appreciate you doing this. Without talking in terms of like anime, how would you describe your art style and just like emotions? My art style would probably be like semi-realistic and like my emotions when I go into it, it's just like things that like are really dark but yet they're not there. Like feelings of like being alone so I tend to draw pieces of like if I draw a person, they're by themselves, if I draw I want to like emphasize just one thing, like an eyeball, just something. Like if there's a lot of emotion, I tend to focus more on just that one thing that's showing the most emotion. We looked at your one piece in this play case, a person standing in front of a mirror, and there were, I remember there were captions beside it. Can you explain that? I have a photo of you. That specific one? Oh, yeah, that one? just that one, because okay. that one stood out to me. That one is my best friend, Maria, and I titled it Marla because it's an inside joke. It is her looking into a mirror, and the mirror is like, the half and half split is between her happiness and her sadness. The things that make her happy and the things that make her more towards sad, like the bullying, and then on like the left side is all the positive things that she hears. It's like society and what they're saying to her and how she feels about it. A lot, so I hear a lot about people saying art is underappreciated. Do you believe that art is underappreciated? I think art is pretty much underappreciated because someone can take something as simple as like the top of a pencil, like the eraser, and they can make it seem like the most amazing thing in the world. And people don't really take that in the meaning and like truly understand like why did they do it? what time period was it, like what was going on as they were doing it. They don't look at the background. They just see, oh, it's the top of an eraser pencil. It's nothing meaningful. So they just look at art on the surface and don't actually think about what really went into that? Yeah, they don't tend to dig inside of the little small details. Like, why would they even want to draw the top of an eraser? Maybe they want to erase something important. Maybe something in the past has happened they wish never happened. You just don't know. You didn't dig deep enough. All right, thank you so much. Thank you.